Hello guys and welcome back. First, I want to acknowledge you guys. I appreciate you for coming by to check me out. I want to let you know that I'm thankful and that I'm very appreciative. And today's fragrance discussion will be every clone that I have in my collection. I'm going to try not to make this a long video, but it's a lot of fragrances that I have. And there are clones of a lot of popular brands as far as niche, designers. I'm telling you, it's probably about 20 or 30 clones at the least. If you don't want to watch the whole video, hit save, come back and watch it, or subscribe so you can watch it later. I'm doing it for you guys. I think you would like this kind of content, and I really, really hope you enjoy it. See you on the other side. Did you call me? This was another subscriber suggested video and they suggested that I make this video and I thought hey this would be a good video to make so I decided to make this video. The first fragrance that we're doing clones of would be Baccarat Rouge and the first we have Air Hermain Amber Oud. Now this is about I would say at least a 90 to 95 percent clone. It smells almost identical. It has that band-aid node. It has that saffron. And that's pretty much what dominate this fragrance. It's a very nice, long lasting, very elegant. I think this was probably 70 bucks, 60, 70 bucks, but it's about 90 to 95 percent close. You should try it out if you don't want to spend the money on Baccarat Rouge. The next fragrance we have, and to me, this is a better smelling version of Baccarat Rouge where you don't get that Band-Aid note. Instead, you're going to get some vanilla. You're going to get some ginger. Instant Crush from Mancera. And this is a more sweeter version of it. The ginger is going to give it a little bit more spice, but it's more smoother, more creamier. This will get you more compliments than Baccarat Rouge. This is a beast mode performing fragrance. It's gonna last 10 to 12 hours on you. Projection is gonna be three, four feet. The CI is gonna be great, or you can call it an alternative because it's a little bit different than Baccarat Rouge, but it has the same kind of DNA. It's more sweeter, a little bit more spicier, a little bit more creamier. This is more compliment getter. Now the next one I'm bringing to you, this is more sexier than both combined in my opinion. And this is from the house of Afnan, Marcel with love. Now you're gonna get the same DNA as Baccarat Rouge, but it's about 85% the same, but whereas you get that Band-Aid note with Baccarat, you're gonna get a sweet caramel. You're gonna get some oud. Now the oud in this is skanky. And to me, that makes it more sexy. This is a more sexy version than the previous two, in my opinion. Some people might be turned off by the oud because it's, it's that barnyard type. It's probably the sexiest of the three. It's marketed towards women, but I think this is more masculine. The next house is Creed, and that's silver mountain water. And this is silver from Air Rehab. Now, this smell almost identical it has that same metallic ink note whereas as the creed is more fruitier and it smell this is probably 95 percent close depending on what version you have i had silver mountain water and I only now i only have little decants that's one fragrance in my collection from creed that i really regret selling because it was the nice fruity version that just radiated off of you. Seven to eight roll-ons for probably 25 bucks. This will hold me for now. Air Rehab Silver. Coming up next, I'm gonna tell you the clone house, and then I'll run through the fragrances right quick that they're cloning. And that house is Ministry of Oud. This is Oud Satin. It's cloning Oud Satin Mood. Now this is probably one one to one. Smell almost identical. This performs, I think, better. It radiates off your skin, lasts longer. But they're both nice. You get that nice rose, spicy rose, maybe some saffron. The next one up 
It's Minister of Oud, Oud Royal. Now this is a clone of Creed Royal Oud. This is very nice. I think it probably performs a little better than Creed Royal Oud. You get that nice spice. You get Oud, which is not really a Oud note. It's just woody, spicy. Got a little sweetness to it. And the next one coming up is, is Oud Indonesia. It slips my mind which one this is cloning, but I think it's a discontinued scent. I can't tell you how close it is as far as cloning it, but this this is very smooth leather with some sweetness, with some probably some incense, some patchouli. Got a little skankiness to it, but it's very sweet with some woody notes, probably a little oud in it. Get your hands on it. Now the next house that we're cloning is coming from Zerjoff Uber Pearl. The next fragrance is coming from the house of Air Main Amber Oud Gold Edition. Now this, you're gonna get a lot of sweet notes, fruity notes. I haven't smelled Zerjoff, so I can't tell you how close it is, but I know this is supposed to be a clone, but this is a nice fragrance. I think it's more geared towards women because to me it's too sweet, but nevertheless it's a very nice scent, one that you would enjoy if you like Uber Pura from my understanding. The performance on this is great. If you want to smell very sweet that women may love and then some might be put off on it, try Amber Oud Gold Edition. It's a nice fragrance, but maybe just too sweet for me, but I know a lot of you guys out there that like sweet fragrances. I like sweet fragrances, but in my opinion, this is just very, very sweet. So it's not my cup of tea. I like it and I wear it, but I have to be in the mood for it. The next house that we're cloning is from Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Extreme. And that is from the House of Cremo black spice and vanilla now this is almost identical this made my top vanilla scent this is a nice fragrance you get a lot of vanilla you're gonna get spices I mean it's smooth the performance is good it's nice and creamy with that vanilla on the top man this this is a nice scent I only tried this from Cremo and it was like probably 20 bucks but if you don't want to spend the money on Spice Bomb and Stream, give this a shot. It's very spicy, creamy with the vanilla. This will get you compliments. Check it out. Okay, the next house that we're cloning is the house of Unwatch, and, and that fragrance is Interlude. And that fragrance that's cloning it is from the house of Parish Corner, Killer Oud. The bar is almost even cloned, except for it has this tacky cap. I'm gonna get all the dark notes of incense, all the smoky notes, leather, oud. This is probably a 90%, 95, maybe higher clone of that fragrance. They did a very nice job of cloning it. This will project off you just like I'm watched well. Performance is great. The price was probably $50, almost identical. Killer oud, Parish Corner. The next house that we're, we're cloning is Tom Ford. Tuscan leather. This is more of an alternative instead of a clone because you get that nice leather, but instead of you getting raspberry, you're gonna get a blueberry note in this. This price was probably $35. The performance is good on it. It's in my opinion, I like this better than Tuscan leather because whereas Tuscan leather give you that raspberry note that's kind of feminine. This give you blueberry. It's more masculine. You get that nice leather, probably a little suede, get some spices. From the house, Ariana Musky Oud. Another Tom Ford that we're cloning, and that's Tom Ford Oud Wood. And this is coming from the house of Rihanna Private Oud. Now this is probably, it's probably 80% of the same. You get a lot of that Oud, you get some woods. Performance is great. This was probably $35. It's a nice clone. 
very nice check it out Rihanna private oud okay Tom Ford again and the one we're cloning is, is ombre leather this is coming from the house of just jack ombre suede this is probably in the 90% range of clone a very nice clone I think this is probably $20 for the 4.2 ounce nice clone to get your hands on if you want to smell like ombre leather at a cheaper cost ombre suede just jack okay another fragrance that we're cloning is, is oud for glory and the fragrance that we're cloning it with is oud for greatness now this is probably a one to one, one to one clone you get that saffron you get some creamy notes the performance is good i think the price was like 45 dollars a great performer lasts long it can project smell almost identical okay the house that we're cloning is bun number nine the fragrance is andy warhol and the fragrance that's cloning is coming from sensual and section and the warhol now this is real close to it but i think andy warhol might have more spices you get that plum note you get some sweetness maybe some vanilla something creamy it's almost identical but i think it's less spicy now there's something about this fragrance i think it's it smell oily if that makes sense it's a nice fragrance smell identical well that smell more like a fragrance this smell more like a like an oil version i'm not quite sure what the price on this i think it was probably 45 dollars or 35 dollars but it's a nice clone smell identical probably 90 percent maybe 95 if you can't find Andy warhol which is discontinued try sensual obsession smell very very similar okay the next clone that we're doing is from the house of perfume de marley and that is pegasus and the fragrance that is cloning it coming from Air Haramane Royal Stallion. Probably a one on one clone. I think I paid around $75 for it. And this, you're going to get a lot of almonds. You're going to get some vanilla. It pretty much has the same notes that Pegasus have, and it smells almost identical. I mean, it's a sweet, buttery almond. You get some heliotropes. Air Haramane make some very nice clones of some popular fragrances the next house that we're cloning is Tom Ford Portofino Neroli and that's coming from the house of Air Hermain also and that's Neroli canvas with this you're gonna get a lot of citruses you're gonna get probably bergamot you're gonna get some Neroli I think this is another one-on-one -on -one clone I think you would like it same price probably 75 85 dollars if you can't find Tom Ford Portofino and you want a cheaper version that lasts longer gonna project farther the performance is great I would check it out the Roly canvas I just want to show you guys this is the case that Royal Stallion and the Roly canvas comes in it comes in this pouch nice pouch that you slip it in this is a nice presentation for a clone. Another fragrance that we're cloning is Euros Flame. And this is coming from the House of Guests, 1991. Now I picked this up at TJ Maxx, I think. And this is probably very, very identical. It's probably 95%. You get that same sweetness. You get a cup, a little spice. Maybe some vanilla, maybe some leather. But... This is almost identical. If you don't want to spend that much on Euros Flame, try Guess 1991. Fragrance that we're cloning this time is from Blue de Chanel. And this is coming from the house of Pandora Scents Harrier. Now this, this is probably 80, 85%, but you get that nice blue scent with some spices. You get some aquatic notes with a grapefruit at the top very nice clone the performance on this you probably get five to six hours but nevertheless this is probably 19 20 bucks have your nice summer scent for very cheap check it out the next house we're cloning is from chanel the allure line 
and that is Pride Intense. This smell really close. It's probably 95, probably a one on one clone. Very nice, vanillic, fruity, and spicy. You will smell good with this. You get compliments with it. The performance is great. I get at least 10 to 12 hours. You're gonna smell whiffs all throughout the day. Very nice, I think I paid probably $35 for this. If you don't wanna spend the amount of money for Chanel, which you know they're never discounted. So Pride Intense is a nice alternative or clone, if you wanna call it that. Check it out. Now the houseware cloning is La Mer Ultra Male. And that fragrance is from the house of F9, 9 p.m. This is a very close clone. It's, it's very nice, the performance is nice. Very fruity, I think you'll like it. F9, 9 p.m. House that we're lumping, we're gonna lump all of them together. On their site, the name is not really identical to any of the fragrances they're cloning. Cause they make some very nice scents. Most of them are at least 90% similar and they all smell great as far as performance. They just don't project off you, but some of you might like that, but they all smell great. They're a great smelling scents. And a lot of these clones that I bought for this, I, some of them I never smelt. I just wanted them, but a couple of them that I have smelt, smell almost identical to it. And they're very nice scents. And that's coming from the house of Perfume Parlor. You have to actually go on the site to really know which house they're cloning. But nevertheless, they make some nice scents. I have Hazard, I think that's from a clone of By the Discontinued. I think it's from YSL. We have Lose Control, we have No Illusion, we have Wood Leaf. Now this is a, a clone of Tom Ford and it smells very good. Um, I think it's Tobacco Oud. It smells very good, very nice. Yeah, Ashtray Fruit. We have Forgiven. We have Second and Last. We have Superlative. We have, we have Second Reaction and we have amazing splendor. Like I said, this is a nice clone house to get into. Their fragrances smell very authentic. The ones that I smelt are the original. Smell very close. Nice house to get into. They don't smell cheap at all. I think these are probably 35 to $40 for a smaller, bigger bottle. Very well worth it. We have another Blue de Chanel clone, and that's coming from Armoff Shades Blue. Now this, I really, Enjoy, you get them that citrus, probably the grapefruit, you get some spices. Now this is a probably a 95% clone. I think this is a little bit more harsher than Blue de Chanel, whereas Blue de Chanel is more smoother, but nevertheless, they smell almost identical. One is smooth, one has got a little sharpness on it, but they're too close if you just want to smell good for less, they're too close. I would go with Shades Blue from Armoff before I would go with Blue de Chanel if you really didn't want to spend the money. But nevertheless, very nice scent. Armoff Shades Blue. Fragrance we're cloning this time is Aqua Dijon. And that fragrance is Perialis Red. Smell identical, you get that aquatic C note. You get some saltiness, you get some fruity, some spices. I think this is a better performance. You can find this probably 19, 20 bucks for the for the four ounce bottle or whatever size this is. But it's a very nice scent. If you want a nice spring, summer beach scent that has that saltiness, that sweetness, that spiciness, Perialis Red. The house that we're cloning is Bun Number Nine, New Harlem. That fragrance is Michael Jordan. Now this what really got me into buns, although I'm not too much into them now. New Harlem. I had the fragrance and sold it. It was a big mistake. But this is probably 90% clone or more. But I think bun number nine was probably more richer, more deeper. Same scent profile, and the same note breakdown as far as smell, but you just don't get that richness, that darkness. Nevertheless, for 19, 20 bucks. Now the performance on this is not that good but you get almost an identical scent for less. Check out Michael Jordan. 
All right, guys, I, I put a lot of work into that. And at least, at the very least, give me a thumbs up. That was an exhausting video to make. And now I got to go edit it. It's going to take even longer. I enjoyed making it for you guys. I love doing this for you guys. I want you to understand fragrances and the alternatives and cheap versions of it. You don't have to go out and spend all that kind of money for it. I'm glad you watched it. I hope you watched it to the end. Watch this video. Thanks for coming by. See you next time. Peace.